Sam? Sam? Why is the camper open? It kind of smells like popcorn. Sam? What are you doing? Eating popcorn. Well, you know my family's here. Why are you hiding in the camper? My camper missed me. What do you got? I made popcorn. Extra butter. All right. Watching YouTube. What are you watching? Your video. Oh, gosh. Coming in. You can't find anything better to watch than that. Come <laughs> <laughs> on in. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another video with the Adventures of the Memory Makers. It's a cold, rainy, drizzly night here in Indiana, so we thought we'd share an idea that we came up with here a while back on one of our camping trips in our bushwhacker for a way to hold um, our tablet so we could watch movies while we're laying in bed. Uh, we were out one on a trip camping up in northern Michigan, and we took the our tablet with us, and we were trying to watch a movie. But there just wasn't any good way to hold it, uh, but I got to thinking about how can I make some sort of holder for a tablet. So we're used to... Um, camping in small areas with our sailboat. So we watch movies in our sailboat on the hook and there's probably nothing more relaxing than being on a sailboat at anchor at, at night, watching the movie and, and the boat just drifting back and forth on the anchor. The only thing that come, comes close to that is when you're in your camper and it's nice and cozy warm and, and you're inside watching the movie. I mean, that's, that's probably a close second to the sailboat. But what I came up with was I took an idea that we had used in the sailboat and we used our Fire, uh, 10, Fire 10 HD tablet to watch downloaded movies while we're on the hook. So, you know, I thought, well, if it worked in the sailboat, let's see if it'll work in here. So I brought it in here, just kind of played around with some things. And, and one of the things that I noticed was our cabinet doors back here in the back had these two knobs. And they were just screaming for me to, to hang something on them. So what I did was I just kind of dug around my workshop and found some scrap and came up with this. This is my simple tablet holder, and it hangs just a little bit off to one side because that knob is just a hair higher than the other one. So I'm going to adjust this hole and drop it down so i got got a level holder. But it works really well. It was super simple to make. Like I said, most of it was scrap that was laying on the floor left over from our, our remodel project of our galley this summer. So what I did was I just took a wide piece of uh, wood here uh, I needed about something three eighths inch thick. I could have used three eighths inch plywood, but I had this, so I planed it down. And then I just made my own keyhole. These large holes here are what slip the knob slips over or in, and then the shank of the knob slides up in here, and that's what holds it in place. And then for the actual tablet holder itself, I took pre-made. Um, it's pine, and I believe they call it corner edge trim, but you can get it at any big box store, and it looks like this when you get it. You buy it by the foot for a couple of bucks, you know, three feet would probably be more than enough for you. It comes in a, a three quarter inch leg. So it's three quarter inches off each side. And that was a little big for our tablet. And ours just happened to be cut down to that width right there already for, I believe that's what was left over from the cutting board holder that I made. And that worked perfectly for our fire. So I just made the holder on the front of this. And then on this block right here, I wanted to tilt the fire down so that we would be looking at it straight on. So what I did was I, I mitered the edge of this uh, piece of two before is, is just what I used and put a 12 and a half degree angle on that. There was no big scientific study that I did to come up with that angle. Uh, that was just one of the presets on my table saw. So I thought I'd try it. It worked really well. Um, so just very simple. The tablet slides right in there like so. And then it hangs up on the knobs. And then to get better sound quality out of our tablet, we use our Bose Bluetooth speaker. It links right to the tablet. And I just normally set it right up here on top of the tablet, leaning back against that. And that way, it, I mean, it's like theater quality sound in your bushwhacker camper. So super simple. Uh, not everybody watching this is going to have a bushwhacker or a cabinet set up like this. And I know that. So I didn't want to go in depth on how I made this. I just wanted to share the idea with you. So that if you were trying to come up with some way to you know, hold a tablet or a, a laptop, some laptops have the screens that flip over backwards. So you got a pretty good viewing area that can be adapted to so many different applications. If you don't have you know, knobs to hang it on like ours, what you could do is actually use a keyhole bit and a router and then one screw in the back wall. And you can hang it on that. You could even use, uh, someone mentioned using um, hangers for like a wreath hanger over a door. 
you know, just take that metal and bend it for what you need to like hook up over a cabinet or, you know, the possibilities are endless. You know, that's a great thing about sharing these ideas. Once people see the idea, then they're able to take it and adapt it to their own uh, situation. So that, that's a really neat part about, about sharing these ideas with everyone is to see what everyone comes up with. So hope you like that. Hope that works out well for you. Gives you some ideas, something that you can do in your camper or even in your sailboat or your van or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, if you like that idea, you might click the subscribe button and hit that bell so that when we come out more neat ideas, you'll be notified of those. So thanks again, and we'll see you on the next video.